I am Nick Shell, and I am the Living Legend, and I am going to be your guide today. So you can check out this product, the Remington Shortcut Pro. I love this product. Remington doesn't know I exist, but I feel that passionately about this device. Now, I did my research before this video. I went through Walmart yesterday. There is nothing that compares to this. So here we go. Yes, you're looking at me. Why, why are you, wait, you're gonna shave your head? Like, don't you have a full head of hair? I don't, I don't get it. Like, why would you shave that off? Because I can, and I think because it will be motivational for a lot of people watching this video. Perhaps you've been brought to this place because either you have lost a good amount of hair and you're ready just to be done with it, or maybe you have a full head of hair like me and but you're much younger and you need to take that next step. You don't want to have to think for the next 15 years, am I going to go bald? Why don't you just face your fears, buzz it off, and get a good idea of what it'll be like. So. What's interesting is I've got this beard that need, I haven't shaved in three and a half weeks other than just trimming up my neckline. I haven't touched this at all in three and a half weeks. So the way I'm going to do this is actually I'll have to start with the beard and then, then start shaving the hair. Uh, but I have to base it around this beard. Otherwise, I'm going to mess up the beard. I'm going to need to blend in the beard. So ultimately what I'm going to be doing is... You, there's a per, certain part of your ear up here that sort of differentiates between your head hair and your facial hair. And that's ultimately where I'm going to start the zero guard buzz cut and just go up to have that line of differentiation. And then from there afterwards, I shave off my hair. I'm going to use, and see, the Remington Shortcut Pro comes with several different guards. I'm going to use the number three. Try that out uh, as far as kind of blending in the sideburn, which you can tell is clearly a sideburn. I'm going to blend that into the beard. And it's important that you have the beard actually start where your facial hair is. You don't want to be like Mr. T, right? And have it coming up over your ear or something like that, or even like a disconnected beard. You, you want a little bit of blend. And because of the zero guard buzz cut, despite the name, there's going to still be a little bit of shadow uh, that we've got to work with in this blend. So let's give it a shot. I got this thing fully charged. I'm going to go no guard. I'm going to do this thing right. And I think that way you can get a good idea of what it might look like on you. All right, here we go. Let's turn this thing on. And I'm gonna get my mirror. I'm gonna line this thing just right where I can, uh, let's see how I wanna do this. I think, I'm gonna do it like this. And I've got the angle, angle of the mirror, so hopefully you can get a decent angle of this as we go. Here we go. So I'm just lining it up real one last time. Uh, and if you can see in at least one of those mirrors, Here's the top of this little part of my ear, and that also happens to be where the hair meets the facial hair. So it's going to go right here, and I'm going to go up and go for it. Are you ready? I am. I know I am. So there's that side. And now I'm going to do the other side. Now remember, I'm going to blend this with the number three to get that kind of going in there so it won't be so abrupt. So, yeah, there you go. There's the first part. And it's going to really speed up the process once I uh, get the other side. What's funny is this is a zero guard buzz cut with, with no guard on it. There is actual a guard for the zero, but... Uh, I'm not using it. I mean, I'm going, there's different levels of zero, but I want to get the full idea of this and, and same for you. Okay. So there we go. We've done that. And now I'm going to do the other side, line it up perfectly with the part of my ear there. And here we go. There we go. All right. So, <laughs> so the hardest part is over. We have that differentiation uh, figured out, uh, to which I will come back to the beard. We'll get that on there. So just, I want to camp out on that for just a moment with the beard. And because what would happen is if I did it way up here, it could look pretty weird. So as it kind of grows in, I think it'll be all right. So, but as you look at me, this is the actual beard itself. All right, here we go. Let's do the rest of this.
<laughs> See that? Alright. Kind of taking my time with it a little bit just to kind of get a good feel for it. And so you can see this coming together. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look how, what if you like Instagram? Like, look how awesome I look. It's like a, just, look. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the mirror around so I can see a little bit better as I do this. And here we go. Still with me? All right, good. Something I want to point out is I haven't had a haircut until now. I haven't had a haircut in well over a month. And so I haven't had my neck professionally trimmed. And this is just how I do it. But I just, since I'm already doing a zero guard buzz cut and it's short enough, I just, I just do it with this. That's good enough for me. So anyway, let's, I'm making sure I'm getting all the angles right. Because man, this is uh, not something you see every day, is it? Okay, I'm looking at the mirror, but at the same time, not, Messing up your view. Okay, here we go. Here's the rest of uh, most of it. Okay, so now we're getting to a point where I've got most of it off, but and look at look at how white my skin is. And it's funny because people are like, well, why'd you, people at work are like, why are you doing this, you know, after the summer, because it's so hot. I'm like, well, yeah, but also I get sunburned. So I think the beginning of the fall is the perfect time to get some, some color on the, on the skull here. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of go through again and mix, mix uh, get some missing pieces here. Just kind of go through it again. There's some really long strands that I made to cut. And I understand it's a drastic thing to, to do this, but already it kind of feels awesome. Like, and I'm saying this personally speaking, but also for you. When, if you end up doing this and just take that leap, go all the way, it feels pretty awesome. And it, it looks pretty awesome too. There's nothing more masculine than this look. Big black beard, barely having stubble on it. Let's clean this up a little bit more though. There we go. So I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit more. And especially after I take a shower, you know, we'll be looking at, you know, a, a clean, more cleaned up version of it. But it's funny because it's like, well, so here's my hair. <laughs> Should I take a selfie with that? I just missed a block of it. But yeah, here's my hair. So uh, with that being said, I guess I do want to do the blending of the beard. Just keep in mind, I'm going to make it convenient for you in case you are interested in buying this. I'll put a link so you can get it on Amazon because I know even my local Walmart, it's not there anymore where I bought it a year and a half ago, but uh, they have, uh, you can easily order it online. And I think a lot of Walmarts and other places like that still sell it. But before I end this video, and by the way, I invite you to watch all the videos that are going to be coming after this one because uh, the direction of this channel will change quite a bit as we're going to be focusing on all this. But I've got my number three guard here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and just kind of see, can I get away with just simply using this to, uh, to do my blending for my beard. So let's see what happens. All right, number three, sounds, it just sounds right to me. Number three. And again, off camera, I'll clean it up even more, but just to kind of give you an idea. So specifically on the ear, there's the two parts of the ear. 
there's the top part. That's where I started the disconnect, separating the difference between the actual hair uh, and the facial hair. And then there's the second part here, where as I was going back with the number three blend, I started it there. So ultimately, this chunk here is being blended in uh, with just using those parts of the ear, this part and this part. This starting the zero up, and then here doing the number three uh, to blend it, and we'll kind of see how that works. And also too, I mean, like I said, I haven't shaved my face in three weeks. So what I want to do is, I want it to basically be when I look in the mirror, this random patchiness is, is gone and have a more like graduated shape there. So look, already look how symmetrical this is. It's not, you can fast, you can rewind to the beginning of the video and say, wow, okay, you had a perfectly good looking head of hair, but on a completely different realm, you've completely rebranded yourself with this look. Keep it in mind, the bald and beard look, it's not simply about, oh, you, you want to be a good looking guy. It transcends that simple thought because this is pure masculinity here. here. Purposely getting rid of your hair or whatever you have left, whoever you are, and then purposely get having a good song, a uh, good strong solid beard. So there you go. This is this is uh, this is me reinventing, reinventing myself, but it already feels great. So if you like this video, this is not simply a tutorial on the Remington Shortcut Pro, which again the link is in there if you want to end up buying one and just doing this yourself. It's not simply showing you how to use this. It's also showing you the power you can have in reinventing who you are by taking this leap. So I got many more, many more videos to come that will follow this storyline. We're going to really take a look at this, talk about it, look at, look at it from psychological points of view. And I'm sure in the, in the weeks to come, we'll be uh, talking about other people's perception of this, because I think for a lot of people, they think, oh no, what would I look like if I did it? Well, People, and here's what I predict, people will probably say, what'd you do? You had a full head of hair, why'd you get rid of it? But ultimately, after about a couple weeks, then they're gonna be like, you know, if anybody could pull that off, it's you. And here's a little secret between you and me. If you do it, you can pull it off. But most men are not willing to make that step, therefore they can't pull it off. I'm Nick Shell, I am the living legend. You have seen me demonstrate how to use the Remington Shortcut Pro. There will be a link so you can check it out. This is my hair. And your comments belong right here.